style bindings in the Vue.js. So for example, let's say that up to now we have added an element, right? Up to now we have, so see here, this is the type of code we need to write it. Like this, you need to go on and you need to write it. The component also like this only it will be there. Let's say that for example, class in the style property. Uh, I will remove this one all. Let's go and do, for example, I'm having a div class is equal to box. Okay. So I'm having a box. Let's add a styles for this one. I'm adding a box. Small thing, width is equal to 200 pixel or something like this. And height I am giving 200 pixel. Okay. I will give border also. All it I am giving. So now we are able to see one box here. Okay. So that's still work out. So we are able to see one box here. Okay. Whenever I click on this box, I want to apply a class to this one dynamically. And, and again, when I click on the same box again, I need to remove the class. Normally in JavaScript, we used to do some calculations and all those things. We used to do it, right? So now I want to apply something like active class. If active class is there active class if active class is there so this one applies a background color background color red or something like this now if i apply this active directly to this one box active so this needs to be act, this needs to be added dynamically if i click on this one so red color it is coming but this one when i click only it needs to add when i click in this one it needs to remove it so what i can do here at the red click first one is we know that on box click i can add method on box click so this is the method and if i go into this one here in the main.js in the methods property i can write here on box click and in this on block click what i need to do here you can write something like active class okay active class two first time it will be false let's maintain first time it will be false when the user click on this on box click I need to toggle it. this dot active class is equal to not of this dot active class. So I am toggling this one. So here, when I am clicking on this video, when I am clicking on this box, we are able to make this one as active or inactive like this. We are able to make it fine. We are able to get it. But here I need to toggle this active class based on the variable that is nothing but an active class variable. So this active class variable based on this one, I need to make it. So what I can do is here, we can use an attribute binding here colon class okay so this is the colon class and here we can use the different ways first one is nothing but here i can use an object model okay object i am opening i want to apply active class okay active class so colon and here we need to give the condition whether i need to show it or not if i try to show it as a true active true means this active property will be applied to this one if you try to see here see red color is there if i go to the inspect element we are able to get an active class applied to this one right active class is applied to this one whereas if i try to apply false so that means i don't want to apply the active class to this one false so now if i try to do it here active class is not applied so now using this attribute binding class property we can apply active class true or false this true or false is determined by which variable here we have an active class variable so i can add this active class directly to here now if you see what will happen now if i click on this one see it has immediately got the active color if i click on again in this one it has been removed so now here i am able to add a class dynamically on clicking on this one so whenever you want to add a class for a particular element or anything means so you can use it this colon class so there is no need for so for example if you try to add two classes for the same element the it will not apply the later will be taken actually but here you can use one normal html class and also one vue.js class also and if you want you can also apply another class also not a problem so these all will be combined okay but normally we'll try to do it here and also here also we can add and if you want to add an another video another class you can use something like box so box should be always applied so i can make it as a true so now we can remove this one all so now we are adding two classes based on the conditions so this one is always true means always this one will be applied now if you see here so now this box is applied if i try to click on this one see 
uh, box and active so these are there so active box these both are applied if i try to remove active is going away but box always it remains why because this is always true so if you want to append some variable dynamic variable to this one means you can also add dynamically like like this you can go on add like an object the class variables so this is one type of notation not only like this you can also add something like another another type of scenario i'm showing so this is one object way of notation if you want to add multiple classes so let's see class is equal to box i will try to show you different types of scenarios how we can add so whether we need to add only the object notation is permitted means not a problem if you want to add single class also you can add it is sorry active class it is there if active class is there means then you can use active or otherwise you can use empty so this is a single class so directly i have written a condition in such a way that if active class is there then i apply the active class or otherwise don't apply anything so this also works not a problem if i click on this one see this is also working but here we have restricted that we can add only one condition here i cannot use the comma oriented like those things if you want to use the comma oriented means then you need to use the object notation if you want to add multiple dynamic classes and another type of notation what you can do is so i can remove this one in the same scenario i want to add it multiple classes means you can use an error no, arrow not uh, array notation also in this array notation what i can do is sorry active class if it is there means then add active or otherwise leave it as empty comma and i can add another class also so i can add box okay box is another class which i want to apply so i can remove this one so i am not adding any condition for this one why because depending on the condition this is always it needs to be shown right so now here i added a box here so this active class will be shown based on the this variable so this is an array notation if you try to see the output then also it will work okay so the different ways we can use it we can use it using a single notation object notation and also the array notation also depend on the scenarios or depend on the requirement how you will be getting you can write the different scenarios let's see here in this one how you how they will be mentioning if you try to see here see he has used the object notation active class should be applied when it is is active so we have the active class right so that is the thing we can also use the vif and bind class also short so shortcut notation is this class so dynamically toggling the classes now here is active true he has kept this one and he have used it so if you want to apply multiple classes means you can use it like this so we have made the box and true so he has used this dynamic variable and let's say that object so this is an object i will try to do so if you have an object you can also directly come from the javascript also to try to do it and using the computer property also we can make it and another thing since this is an object no, uh, array notation okay so this is an array notation and we will be having error notation so here i have written the condition i is active is there means active class or otherwise empty and otherwise you can add an error class you can add an object like this also now that's it so these are the different ways so he is using our combinations like this he is trying to give some examples so that that is all about the classes thing so here the different types of notation you need to understand that one thing is or object notation we can use it or otherwise we can have an array notation or otherwise we can have a single class notation also for example i don't want these all things okay i can add something like box class object i can directly add this one so this is a variable which you will be having and i can go into this main.js and i can have a box class object so this is nothing but box should be always true this variable should be always true and i can remove this one active class okay or otherwise active class we can uh, we can use this active class we can use it in the watcher property okay we can use it in the watcher property watcher property when active class is changing then what i can do here is dot so here i can write something like active false so this is this is coming from the javascript so active false this dot box class object dot active okay is equal to active class so i can apply this dot active class so this also works so this is coming i am coming it from the javascript, uh, JavaScript. so here i am not writing any logic here class is there now if you try to see the output let's try to see the output then also if i try to click then also it is working fine okay 
so like this through javascript so he has explained the logic so i am using the entire javascript object how i am trying to frame it here in the template i am trying to frame it here and i am coming through the watcher classes so it is whenever the active class is changing then i want to update this active class through the computer class how you want to get it is so there is there will be no box class object and all those things so here the computer property will be the box class object okay and here i need to use return this uh, sorry box will be always true and another one is active should be this dot active class something like this we'll be having right so these are the different combinations maybe you'll be getting confused for the first time so now i can use the same box class object now if i try to do it then also it will work without any problem okay by using the watcher and also the computed properties how we can do how we can bind the dynamically classes is this one through the template you can do it the same thing for example let's say that this is the same thing right the same object i can copy it here okay and here i can paste it right so previously i did the same thing but here we need to use we should not use the this the same thing what i have used it previously the same thing i try to get it from the javascript side so sometimes we need to have a scenario in such a way that we need to do some logics and all those things and we need to update it then this one will be useful so this is the same thing i am getting i am trying to get it from the computed property why, why because so if you are having some big logics and all those things depending on that one means you can move the entire thing to the javascript side now if you try to see the same thing it will work the same thing only but i am trying to get it from the javascript side so this is the different ways how we can apply the classes to the html elements using the vue.js